Hello. Hello. Good evening. How are you today, Blanca? Very good. Very good. Hello. Did you work today or you stayed home? You stayed home. Oh, okay. Hello. What did you do today? You watch TV? You clean the house? What did you do? Clean the house. You clean the house. Did you check the platform too? Mm, yes. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. Perfect. And the rest of you, Eric, how are you today? I'm fine. You're fine. Did you work today or you stay home? Yeah, home office. Ah, you're working from home? Yes. Okay. Is it more difficult than being in an office? Mm, no. Or easier? Easier. Easier. Okay, that's nice. Perfect. And the rest of you, Stella, how are you today, Stella? Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Good. What did you do today? Did you stay home or you work today? I stay home in home office. Ah, that's interesting. And the rest of you, Nelly, how are you? Hi, teacher. Very good. Okay, that's nice. Did you work today? Um, take a nap. Oh, you took a nap in the afternoon. Wow, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. That's nice. And the rest of you, Regina, how are you today? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Oh, great. Did you do anything interesting today? Uh, I stay at home, but uh, um, I work from from office. Oh. And, um, at the week, one day I go to the office. Ah, oh, that's nice because you are safer at home. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you, Carla? How are you today, Carla? I'm fine, teacher. Do you work today or you stay home? Yes, I stay home. Oh, okay. Do you have a job? Yes, I have a job. So you're working from home? Mm, no. No, you're not working? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, well, uh, I suppose that you have been working in the platform. I suppose that you have checked the videos. I have seen some of you have been working in the platform. Remember that we are working in the section three. So today we're going to watch a video to review the questions and then we will continue working on that. Just to make a review to make sure that everything is okay with the content. Yes, let's remember this. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to form WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by listening to a conversation titled, He Works in a Hotel. Let's listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Now, let's try to understand how to form simple present questions. Let's analyze the examples on the chart. Simple present WH questions. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? 
He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They're waiters. How do they like it? They hate it. In order to form simple present WH questions, we will follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus complement. It's also important to remember the following. Whenever we talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they, we will use the auxiliary verb do. Whenever we talk about the pronouns he, she, and it, we will use the auxiliary verb does. So let's try to make sense of the first example on the chart. Where do you work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Then we have the auxiliary verb do. After that, we have the subject. Finally, we have the verb work. Let's analyze one more example. Where does he work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Uh, then we have the auxiliary verb does. After that, we have the subject, he. Finally, we have the verb work. Now, it's your turn to practice making as many questions as possible. Think of your friends, family, and co-workers and their jobs. You need to make questions and answers, just like the examples we saw in this lesson. After you finish this task, make sure that you share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, that was just to review the questions. We're going to uh, watch another material so you can practice the content. Yeah, so remember, we have just no question and the WH questions. We have studied both. We have studied about just no questions and WH questions in simple present. So you can um, answer this. At first, we have the instructions here. We have to make questions with do and does. So they are yes, no questions. This is one example. Pay attention to the example. It says, I like chocolate. How about you? If they say, I like chocolate, and I want to ask you, what about you? How do we form that question? I like chocolate. What about you? You like Aha, uh -huh. do you like chocolate? Excellent. Next, I play tennis. What about you? Do you play tennis? What do you do? Excellent. Do you play tennis? I play tennis. What about you? Do you play tennis? Very good. Pablo, pay attention. Pablo plays tennis. How about you, Lucia? Do you play tennis, Lucia? Does she play? Uh-huh. Porque dice, Pablo plays tennis. ¿Y Lucia? Quiero saber si Lucia juega tennis. Entonces, aquí es, uh, does she play tennis? Cuando es a usted directamente a ti, entonces sí usamos tú, pero ahora quiero saber acerca de Lucía. Does she play tennis? Now, let's continue. You live near here. How about your friends? Is the question clear? Do you live near here? So, 
You live near here. Usted vive cerca de aquí. Near es cerca y here es aquí. You live near here. How about your friends? ¿Qué hay de tus amigos? ¿Cómo le preguntaría tus amigos viven cerca? Do your friends live near here? Aha, uh -huh. that's excellent. Very good. Do your friends live near here? Oh, puede sustituir friends por they. De cualquier manera está correcto. Excelente trabajo. Do they live near here? No. You can speak English. How about your brother? Does your brother speak English? I think your answer is correct. Does Excellent. He? Excellent. Sí, el, el he puede ser brother también. Does he speak English or does your brother speak English? Both are correct. Excellent job. Now, I do yoga every morning. How about you? Do you do yoga every morning? Excellent. Do you do yoga every morning? Excellent. Do you do yoga every morning? Next. Sue often travels on business. How about Paul? Does he? Sweet. Does he? Sweet. Often. Does, does, he, on bus. does he? Después del sujeto va el verbo. Does he? Travel. Travel. Does he travel for business? Uh -huh. Does he often travel on often. business? Excellent job. Now. I want to be famous. How about you? Do you want to be Do famous? You want... Do you want to be famous? Good job. Next, you work hard. How about Nicole? Does she, Does she work hard? Work hard. Excellent. Does she work hard? Now, second part. Make questions use the word in parentheses plus do and does and put the words in the correct order. Hmm. Those are WH questions. And we have to add, tienen que agregarle do y das y darle la orden correcto. Esas son information questions. We have the words where, live, and your parents. Where? ¿Cómo quedaría? Where? Where, where do you do your life parents? Mm. Por ahí Both oí dos respuestas. Vamos a ver cuál es la correcta. Where do your parents live? Oh. Okay, era la correcta. Where do your parents live? Escuché a alguien por ahí decir la correcta. Acuérdense que el sujeto, después del sujeto va el verbo. Y aquí el sujeto es your parents. Y luego el verbo es live. Where do your parents live? Next. Voy a hacer yes no question o WH question. Es una yes no question. No hay WH word. No tengo una WH word. Entonces voy a hacer una yes no question. Do you always okay? No. Do you always? Por ahí va bien. Do you always? Do you Always get, get up, up always, early. always early. Ajá. Uh -huh. Do you always get up early? Cuando hay un adverbio de frecuencia, se pone sujeto, adverbio y verbo. That's okay. Do you okay. always get up early? 
Aquí hay un adverbio también, pero ese va a ir al principio. Estamos preguntando con qué frecuencia. Esta es una WH word también. How often? How Esa va a ir al principio. How often do you watch TV? Ajá. How often do you watch TV? ¿Con qué frecuencia ves televisión? Esa es otra WH. How often? What is the question here? What do you What do you What do you want what for the dinner? I heard the correct answer. What, what do you want, want for dinner? What That's do you okay. want for dinner? Excellent. What do you want for dinner? Do you like football? Excellent. Do you like football? Next. Does Do you like you, football? Does, does, does your that, brother like football? Does, does he like football? Yes. Does your brother like football? That's correct. What do you do in your time? I heard the correct answer. What yes. Do in your free what do you do in your free time? Next. Where do your sister work? Where does your sister work? Where does your sister work? Excellent. Where does your sister work? Do you ever go to the movies? Do you ever go to the movies? Excellent. Do you ever go to the movies? What do you mean this word? No, what, what this word mean? What does this word mean? What does this word mean? What does this word mean? This word mean? Ajá. El sujeto es esta this palabra. Word. This word. Ese es el sujeto. What does this word mean? Does it ever snow here? Does it ever snow here? Excellent. What do you go? What time what? usually do, do you go to the bed? Time. Okay, the first, esa es, eso va what junto, you, what time, what time, what time do you, do you, what uh -huh. time, what do, time you do you usually go, you to bed? go to bed, excellent, what time do you usually go to bed, good job, what time do you usually go to bed, now this one, that's is how much is to cost call Mexico? How much does how much does to call Mexico cost? It how, how much, much does it? Uh huh. How much does it cost, cost to, call, to Mexico, call, Mexico. call Mexico? Okay, excellent. How much does it cost? 
So call Max Sikha. What do you usually have? Excellent. What do you usually have for breakfast? For breakfast. Okay, you did a very, very good job. You did it excellent. You are so nice <laughs> students. <laughs> excellent. I see that this topic is clear for you. You're excellent students. You're awesome people. All right. Uh, to continue, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the placement of adjective. What is an adjective? Can you tell me what an adjective is? Old. Okay, old is an adjective. Uh huh. Okay, an adjective to to have a better idea. An adjective is a noun that is is a word that describes a noun. Is that clear? I know the answer is no. <laughs> okay. Un adjetivo es una palabra cuya función es describir a un nombre. Nombre, nombre, no hombre, nombre. Describe a un nombre. Nombre puede ser uh, cualquier cosa. Un nombre puede ser ventilador, computadora, sombrero, pizarra escritorio. Esos son nombres. Ahora, un adjetivo me puede dar una mejor idea, una descripción de un nombre. Un adjetivo puede ser un color, puede ser, um, I, um, yo puedo decir uh, computer. Computer, esto es un nombre. No me dice mayor cosa, solo me dice computadora. Ahora, ¿qué puede describir a esa computadora? Un adjetivo. So fast. New. Ajá, puede ser new. A new computer. Puede ser color incluso. Great computer. Puede ser modern computer, a modern computer. Smart. Lacton. El tamaño puede ser adjetivo también, small. A small computer. Uh -huh. La capacidad, fast. Uh -huh. La condición, old, igual que ya habíamos dicho new. So, esos son adjetivos. Los adjetivos tienen un orden específico. Vamos a ver lo que hay en la plataforma acerca de los adjetivos. of adjectives. Particularly, you will learn B plus adjective and noun plus adjective. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. That's exciting. Let's listen and practice. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. 
That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job, and sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn is how to express the same thing, but in different ways. First, let's analyze the examples on the left-hand side of this chart, B plus adjective. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, A or an, plus profession, plus apostrophe, plus job, plus verb to be, plus adjective. Now let's analyze the first example on the chart. A firefighter's job is dangerous. At the beginning of our sentence, we will typically use an article whenever we're talking about a singular job. So in this case, A, then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we're going to add the verb to be, in this case is is. Uh, finally, we put the adjective. Let's look at our next example. A doctor's job is stressful. At the beginning of our sentence, we have an article, in this case A. Then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we have the verb to be is. Finally, we have the adjective. Stressful. Now we want to express these same examples using adjective plus noun. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article A or N plus profession plus has plus article A or N plus adjective plus noun. So let's make sense of the first example now. A firefighter has a dangerous job. At the beginning of our sentence, we will use the, an article, A, then we will have the profession, firefighter. After that, we add the verb has. Next, the article, A, then we will add the adjective and finally we need to add the noun which in this case is job now I would like to give you some adjectives which may describe different jobs and then I would like for you to express your opinion about different jobs that we have learned so far let me read them for you boring easy dangerous exciting difficult stressful so, using the adjectives that I just gave you, I would like for you to describe different jobs. And I would like for you to express your ideas in different ways. Using B plus adjectives and adjective plus noun. For example, a lawyer's job is stressful. A lawyer has a stressful job. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, well, that was about the placement of adjectives and basically what it was explaining there is the order of adjectives, which is a little bit different than in the Spanish because, uh, well, we think, ah, no, es que en inglés todo es al revés, pensamos así, ¿verdad? Ya hemos dicho, es que todo se dice al revés, pero realmente no es eso, sino es, es el orden de los adjetivos. Casi siempre se utilizan, cuando estamos hablando, utilizamos adjetivos. Por ejemplo, eh, si nosotros... Una enfermera tiene un trabajo difícil. Así sería en español, ¿verdad? Estamos hablando del trabajo. Este sería el noun, el nombre. Trabajo. 
¿Cómo lo estoy calificando? ¿Cuál es el adjetivo que estoy utilizando? Es difícil, ¿verdad? Entonces nosotros usamos primero el noun y después el adjective. Hagamos la misma oración ahora en inglés. El verbo tener sería has. has. Me estoy, ajá. A. Ahora va a ir primero el adjetivo y después el nombre. Difícil. Hard work. Yeah. A difficult work. job. Work. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, uh -huh. el, eso es lo que cambia en inglés, el orden del adjetivo. Nosotros tenemos primero el nombre y después el adjetivo, pero en inglés va primero el adjetivo y después el nombre. A nurse has a difficult job. job. Ahora, había otro ejemplo ahí en el que van después del verbo to be. va después del verbo to be es diferente. Aquí tengo a nurse's job y luego pongo el verbo to be y siempre y va a cambiar un poco uh, el orden. A nurse's job is difficult. Ahí es diferente, se parece más al español cuando se usa el verbo to be, que es ser o estar. Es difícil. A nurse's job is difficult. That's it. Questions here? Hay preguntas acá? No questions. No questions. Okay, so let's practice. We have some um, some reading here. What do you do and what's your job like? We are going to listen some job descriptions in which adjectives are being used in order to describe jobs. Page 53, exercise six, snapshot. What do you do? What's your job like? Listen and practice. I'm a server in a coffee shop. It's easy, but boring. I don't like my job much. I'm a firefighter. It's exciting and very dangerous, but I like my job a lot. I'm a social worker. It's difficult and really stressful, but I love my job. I'm a florist. My job isn't very exciting, but it's pretty relaxing. I like my job okay. Okay. Uh, do you have any question about vocabulary? No questions about vocabulary? Yeah. No questions. No question. Escuché a alguien que dijo me. Yes. Uh, how do you mean a lot? I like my job a lot. El a lot es decir mucho. Mucho. I like my job a lot. Me gusta mucho mi trabajo. Okay, let's try to repeat in order to practice pronunciation. Page 53, exercise 6, snapshot. What do you do? What's your job like? Listen and practice. I'm a server in a coffee shop. Okay, let's repeat. I'm a server I'm in a, a server coffee in a shop. I'm a server in a coffee shop. It's easy, but boring. It's easy, it's easy, easy but boring. Boring. Easy, but boring. boring. I don't like my job much. I don't like my job much. I don't like me 
job much. My, my job much. I don't like my job much. I'm a firefighter. I'm a firefighter. I'm a firefighter. I'm a firefighter. Very dangerous. But I like my job a lot. I like my job a lot. I'm a social worker. I'm a social worker. It's difficult and really stressful. It's difficult and really stressful. But I love my job. But I love my job. 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 I'm a florist. I'm a florist. My job isn't very exciting. My job is very exciting. But it's pretty relaxing. But it's pretty relaxing. I like my job okay. I like my job okay. All right. There are some words that can make us feel confused. For example, the word, the adjective exciting. What is exciting? When you mean exciting, it's emocionante. 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 That's exciting. And in this case, when we use pretty, when you see the expression here, pretty relaxing, ¿cómo lo interpretarían al español? Pretty relaxing. Mm, quizás como es un poco tranquilo, algo así, no sé. Ajá, solo que bastante. Cuando decimos pretty, al, antes de un adjetivo, el pretty quiere decir bastante. Bastante relajante. Pretty relaxing. Ajá. Cuando le preguntan cómo estás, y usted dice pretty good. Bastante bien. Pretty good. Ok. Wow, well, we're going to practice a conversation so we can continue practicing pronunciation. It says, please be careful. You know, careful. Do you know the word careful? Careful. No. Yes, is cuidadoso. Se cuidadoso. Por favor, se cuidadoso. Ten cuidado. Please be careful. We can listen the conversation. Page 53, exercise 7, conversation. Please be careful. Listen and practice. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a window washer now, you know. Really? How do you like it? It's a stressful job, and it's pretty dangerous. Please be careful. Okay, do you have any question about the vocabulary? Is it very clear for you? Yes. It's clear, no questions. Or you it's have clear. questions? No questions. Okay, I'm going to play Did one more time. Hmm? Donde dice, I am teaching math at Lincoln. High school. Oh, I am teaching math. Estoy math. enseñando. Uh -huh. Estoy enseñando matemáticas. I am teaching math. En la escuela secundaria Lincoln. Este es el nombre de la escuela. High school mm -hmm. es una escuela secundaria de bachillerato. High school. Okay. 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 I already sent the picture of the conversation so you can practice in, with your classmates i'm going to create sections in groups so you can practice this conversation practice your um, your pronunciation with your classmates remember to click join 
or unirse so you can get in group with your classmates and you can practice a conversation. Remember, click join or unirse so you can practice. Ready to practice? Yes. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, ¿Quién iniciaría? Who is start? Me. Okay. No hey. veo la conversación. En el, en el grupo de WhatsApp. Quiero ver. Ya. Yeah. <coughs> Todas listas. Yes. Ok. Ahora sí, ya. Yeah. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like, like it? It is great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I am window washer now, you know. Really? How do you like it? It's a, stress, a stressful job and it's pretty dangerous. Please be careful. Ok, ahora yo voy a ser Stephanie. Ok. Hoy quiero ver. Hoy voy yo de primero. Sí, y yo de segundo. Y de después. <ríe> hey, Stephanie, I hear you had a new hat. No, job, ¿cómo se yeah. dice? Eso? Yes, job. 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 Yes, I'm teaching math of, at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a window washer now. You know? Really? How do you like it? It's a stressful job and it's pretty dangerous. Please be careful. Okay. Okay, okay. You, you did it excellent. It's just, um, lo hicieron muy bien, muy bien. So, entre más lo practiquen, van a ir ganando fluidez y haciéndolo más rápido. Okay.
Okay, I suppose you finished practicing. I have been checking some of you. So, revise algunos. La única palabra que a veces da problemas es job. Acuérdense la pronunciación es job. De ahí por lo demás lo hicieron muy bien. Solo necesitan hacerlo con un poco más de fluidez. Acuérdense que esta conversación está en la plataforma. Ustedes pueden verla ahí, practicarla, ponerle pausa, repetir después y así sucesivamente para que ustedes vayan mejorando. La pronunciación la tienen muy bien. Lo único que es como que siento que necesitan fluidez, soltarse, hacerlo más rápido, entonación. Eso lo tienen que practicar con la plataforma. Dele en pausa, repite, eh, vuelva a darle play, lo repite usted y así pueden estarlo haciendo para que pues, se vayan soltando. Pero lo están haciendo muy bien, muy bien, excelente con la gramática, con su ejercicio. Casi no veo que piden ayuda en el grupo de WhatsApp. Y cuando estamos trabajando en clase lo hacen muy bien. Así que los felicito. Parece que que van bien y eso me alegra mucho. Lo, lo único que sí necesitan es practicar más pronunciación, soltarse un poco más, pero de ahí todo lo demás está excelente. Y acuérdense que la plataforma pueden usar cuantas veces quieran, le pueden dar pausa, repita, pausa, repita. Y no se aburras, esto es de práctica, práctica, práctica. Ok. Como ya vimos esto del placement of adjectives, vamos a hacer el último ejercicio porque ya casi se nos acabó el tiempo, pero nos da para hacer un ejercicio más y poner en práctica la ubicación de los adjetivos. If you want to listen the grammar focus one more time. No se escucha. Oh my God. Sí, no se escucha. Perdón, siempre que pongo las secciones de grupo se desconfigura el sonido. O oh, ahí lo puede poner ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. Adjective. Page 54, exercise 9, grammar focus. Placement of adjectives. B plus adjective. A doctor's job is stressful. A window washer's job is dangerous. Adjective plus noun. A doctor has a stressful job. A window washer has a dangerous job. Okay, so you have there, lo que tienen acá es lo que ya habían visto previamente en la plataforma. El orden de los adjetivos. Uh, tenemos cuando va verbo to be, luego el adjetivo. Tenemos aquí a doctor's job. Luego el verbo to be, en este caso is, porque me refiero al trabajo del doctor. A doctor's job is stressful. Acuérdense que este apóstrofe más esta S es un possessive. Esto me indica el trabajo de, ¿de quién es el trabajo? Del doctor. Del doctor. ¿El trabajo de quién? De el lavador de windows, de, de ventanas. Window washer's job. Esto es este apóstrofe con la comida, no es verbo to be. Eso es possessive over a noun. Ok, luego tenemos el verbo to be y el adjective. O tenemos la otra forma de hacerlo, que es adjective plus noun, que es la que ya habíamos estado viendo. A doctor has. A, el adjetivo stressful y el noun job. A doctor has a stressful job. ¿En qué consiste el ejercicio? Ok, vamos a escribir en el cuaderno estas oraciones que están acá. En la manera diferente. Por ejemplo, aquí tengo a doctor's job is interesting. La estructura que tengo acá es la del to be más adjective. Entonces yo la voy a escribir de esta otra estructura. Adjective más. Now, a doctor has an interesting job. Aquí la tengo de esta manera. La número uno está así. A doctor's job is interesting. 
Ahora yo la cambio a esta estructura. A doctor has an interesting job. Entonces ustedes van a trabajar en eso ahorita. Van a ir cambiando la misma oración, solo que en la diferente estructura como está presentada. Ahí las pueden hacer en el cuaderno y luego revisamos. You have five minutes. I think you can do it in five minutes. Son cinco oraciones, de la dos a la seis. You can work in your notebooks. Are you ready to check the answers? Okay, very good. Uh, volunteer to say the number two. Me. Yes. A police officer has a dangerous job. Okay, a police officer has a dangerous job. Very good. Cuando es esa estructura no le ponemos el possessive. A uh, police officer has a dangerous job. Le quedó así como está acá. Danger job, sí. Okay, that's correct then. Very good job. Number three, a volunteer. Me. A teacher has um, a stressful job. Excellent. A teacher has a stressful job. Number four. A plumber's job is boring. Excellent. A plumber's job is boring. Number five. An electrician's job is difficult. difficult. Excellent. Excellent job. An electrician's job is difficult. Excellent. And number six. A vendor has an easy job. A vendor's job is healthy. Okay, excellent. A vendor job is easy. Very nice. You did a very, very nice job. So remember that this is the section number three. Ya casi terminamos la sección tres. Es tu segunda semana de clases. Lo han hecho excelente. Eh, mañana no hay clase. Es, mañana es viernes. Entonces, so tienen viernes, sábado y domingo para ponerse al día con los ejercicios de la plataforma y pues les repito cualquier duda que surja o ejercicio que no les salga bien pueden 
escribir a WhatsApp para poder ayudarles. Okay? So, um, that's it. So, we're going to stop here. I hope you have a very good weekend. Take care. Stay home. Wash your hands frequently. And see you on Monday. Okay? Okay. okay. Thank you, nice. teacher. You too. Good night. 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 Take care. Bye. <laughs>